hospital. I had cancer for the second time um, when I was 34 and, and you're lying there with a body that doesn't really work for you anymore. Um, you're lying in hospital and, and there's not much to look forward to and, and you know when you start thinking about where do I want to be, what do I want to do, um, should everything go well and I survive this and uh, you know to me uh, the things that I want to do is, is get out and experience life. One of the most frustrating things about having a disability is people's low expectations of what you can do. You know, expecting that you need to go up a lift or an elevator rather than the stairs. You know, I think that um, that stubbornness to want to prove that to people and to try and try and change the world in a way and try and change the attitudes of the able-bodied world out there. One of my longest days ever walking was in Mount Kilimanjaro in Africa. You leave at around midnight and you're walking up through the dark at about 5,900 metres above sea level. You get to the summit about eight in the morning after walking for eight hours. And while I was up there, my sister, who I was travelling with, had a few altitude sickness problems. Uh, we started to hear her lungs bubbling. So um, we got us some help to get down as quickly as possible to support her when she was doing it tough it was a, a great experience because I know she's been there many times for me. And so certainly in, in some of the deepest, darkest times in my life, um, what I really wished for is, is to have my physical body back so that I can get outside, play with my kids, take them to places like this. To be able to, only a couple of years after that, come out to a place like this, um, you know, it, it reminds you of, of where you were and where you wanted to be and you are living your dream.